Terrybooters. Uh, so today is day 15? 15 of my reboot? Um, this was pretty much when I was planning on quitting. Well, not quitting. I wasn't planning to do originally my juicing for this long. Um, I'm going to continue on until at least Wednesday. Um, possibly. I And then as my boyfriend will be coming back on Wednesday afternoon, evening-ish, we're planning to go for a meal. Um, and the week after, we're gonna do juicing. He's gonna move in for the week and we're gonna do a week of juicing. So I'll be able to eat for the week and I'll slowly introduce sort of foods back into my diet and I'll keep doing this juicing diet video as well, just to kind of see, so you guys can see how to transition back out again and any pitfalls I come across which let's be honest I'm probably gonna hit them all because I'm I throw myself into things I don't I don't do things by halves I just kind of go in and guns blazing um, so this morning I had a sweet orange glow for breakfast and again this didn't make I seem to be having my ju my morning juices seem to be quite small when I juice them. I don't know what's going on with that, but um, it's been the last couple of days that all of my morning juices have been quite small quantities, which I think is why I'm also getting hungry quite quickly. Um, so yeah, it was sweet orange glow. Then I was going. It might have been the orange that I picked. Um, it was quite bitter, but I drank it anyway because I was hungry. Um, and then I made two batches of seasonal, which, to be honest, I'm finishing off my dinner juice now. Um, because I'm just not bothered. I kind of really want to eat stuff. I'm at that point where I want to eat and I want to do stuff and cook. But I'm feeling good, so I don't want to ruin it, so... Um, so that's, that's nice actually, I'll just have some more of this so you can see that I do actually, apart, I do drink like veg juices, look at it, look how green it is. It looks a lot more green when um, you originally make it, but I made it last night, so. You get the um, pepperiness of the um, <coughs> celery, I think that's, sorry, that's my, um, that's my boyfriend texting me. Um, so um you get the pepperiness from the celery um so i find that when i have drinks that have quite a lot of celery in they tend to you know like when you have salt and vinegar chi uh, crisps or chips if you're in america and um they kind of you get kind of that tingly in your tongue that's kind of what it's a bit it's like so it's kind of that pepperiness um, and then I had, I made two batches of Bloody Mary. Unfortunately, my afternoon snack Bloody Mary, I put too much Worcester sauce in. And it was disgusting. It was absolutely vile. Um, I did, I do technically have another serving for it for my dessert juice today. Um, but I'm tired. It's about half ten now. And I've got to go in for a meeting first thing tomorrow morning at work. So even though it's my, I've got some time off, I'm gonna, sorry, it's rabbits. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna have that and I'll have it for breakfast instead. Um, which is a shame because I was quite looking forward to my beet eeny. But I might change that from, I might have my beet eeny instead of perfect green. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do because I quite, as I said, I've, I've had them a couple of times. I quite like them. I think that was one of the first. Um, I had Pinkalicious my first proper time doing a juice, and then I've had a Beatini. That was the first breakfast juice I made myself, and it was really nice. Um, I don't do, I don't put vodka in it. Um, you, that is an option, I guess if you wanted um, and the recipe calls for some mint in it as well um, you can put that in I don't because I find that you don't use enough herbs you don't use them often enough for you to buy enough for a juice because then they'll go off and they'll go all limp and it's not much point 
And obviously, if I was growing them, which I would love, um, then that's fine. But it, it just doesn't happen for me. So yeah, I'm not having, I'm not having my dessert juice. I didn't drink all my afternoon snack juice. I'm just feeling a bit nauseous. I'm kind of fed up with juice now. I just really want to eat something. I just really want to bite something. Um, I think I've hit kind of a wall and I just, yeah, I just really want to eat something and it doesn't help the fact that I watch a lot of cooking programs. So I watched um, the Taste USA today and I watched two episodes of Mary Berry and um, so I'm not helping myself admittedly but I enjoy watching them because but it's not helping I don't think um, I can't really think of much else to say about today energy levels have just been generally high which is nice um, and yeah apart from feeling a little bit nauseous every time I kind of like going I've got to have my lunch tonight now Ugh, I don't want to I just want to eat something um, I've been fine so, yeah, I might stop putting more, some like some ginger in my juices a bit more often because they help. So like, I really want a ginger biscuit, and so I'm feeling sick, so I want a ginger biscuit. But that's kind of not the point, is it? Um, and I could have some tea with ginger in, but I'm not that much of a fan of ginger. It's just kind of something that you can add into stuff. Um, but I might have some green tea before I go to bed. I don't know. As I said, I'm feeling quite tired. And I just really need to catch up on some sleep, which I was hoping to do yeah, tomorrow. But I've got to go for the meeting, so I might go in and then go back to bed. I don't think that's a good option. I've got most of my. Um, I've got the the front part and the back part of my jacket sewn together. Um, I don't know what I've done. I've managed to fix my machine. Um, fingers crossed. Touch wood. Um, because now the stitches are catching on the back and on the front, which is nice, that's all working. I still can't find the foot to the sewing machine, but that's fine. Um, so hopefully in the next two days I will have a fully completed jacket, which I will be showing off at every opportunity, which I'm sure everyone will know. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I can really think of. Oh, see you, kitty. Oh, see you, kitty. Um, so I will see you tomorrow rebooters if you have any comments questions or advice put them in the box below and I will get back to you I'm sorry person that left me comments before I haven't had the chance to go onto my computer and message you back but I really appreciate it I will get back to you I promise I promise um, so I will see you tomorrow rebooters bye